Ow. Dude, how old are you? I don't know, I'm 19, Randall. You wouldn't work for me last week, remember? Because you said working on my birthday would help me build character. Well, at least you spelled cock right this time. Being on set with, with all these guys and Clerks, doing Clerks 2 was awesome. They're super fun. They're really kind. They're exactly who you, you, know, you think they are. Um, they're really smart. They're really funny. Every aspect of, the, of performing and shooting it with them was great. Every aspect of interacting with them, like in general, is great. But the, it's like there's so much else to the job besides just the performing part. There's like the agents and the managers and the studio executives and the auditions and the publicists and the, like all of that and all of that stuff was it just made me. I assume I'm just not cut out for it. It just made me really unhappy. So I quit and then I went and did something else. Man, man, but but you but you're great and I mean. Well, I think I don't want. I appreciate the compliment very much. I uh, the, I don't think I just don't think that when I decided to leave, Hollywood was like, well, shut it down. We don't have enough actors anymore. <laughs> like they're fine. <laughs> they don't need me. I'm good. Welcome to movies. May I take your order? God, is that true? It'll never be forgotten. It'll never be forgotten. Oh, Jesus Christ! What have I done? <laughs> Uh, no, I I, th I think it's pretty. I, I have to say I don't I can't I come to these things. This is my sixth one. Okay. And when Jeff and Brian were kind of trying to persuade me to try it out and just see if I liked it or whatever, uh, I was like, nobody wants my <laughs> nobody has any idea who I am. Nobody gives a shit. And I was right. I was proven right, and they were proven wrong. And no, I'm just kidding. No, I I, I know I, I was kind of surprised that they're pleasantly surprised that there are people who who still. Um, the movie still means something to them and made an impact on them. I, I just, that's a, um, that's a gift. I don't take for, I try not to take for granted. I like to be able to like, I don't know, play a role in like something that maybe comforted somebody once. I think that's cool. Awesome, awesome. And, and now there's the, they're bringing movie, movies kind of to life. Yeah. Somewhat. Um, they have one here in St. Louis <laughs> yeah. that I visited and just, it's just, Clerks everywhere, Clerks too. Just the memorabilia and everything is—it's right. like straight out of the movie. Um, I don't know if you can speak on that or not, but I, I can't speak too much on it because I just don't know. I went to one of these movies pop-ups in uh, Providence. That was the first con that I did, and it, it was great. But I, as I understand it, the people who run the show—they—they—they they, they get a local. They get a local yeah. local people to make the food. So I think it's going to be different everywhere you you go, right? Can the taste be different though, just based on that? I think so. But okay. are they using the same ingredients, but just local people? Same ingredients, oh, just local people. I didn't know it. that. Okay, I, I guess I misunderstood that. Yeah. Then maybe I need to try the one in St. Louis and compare it to the one that I had in Providence and see if it's like, because the one I had in Providence is good. If they have another pop up here. Oh, okay. I thought you said they did. One. It was just a pop up. Oh, it's gone already. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, gotcha. It was, it was, I think it was three days. Oh, okay. Uh, weekend. Gotcha. And I mean the cow tippers, the it, the food was amazing. My favorite was always the moo ilk shake. Because it just seemed like such a fucking half-hearted throw across the plate from Kevin, like, eh, moo ilk, sure. Give me one utterly delicious moo ilk shake, skinny calf, and order of onion rings. Thanks. One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so I had, I had a toss-up. Sorry, with, Kevin. I had a toss-up with the shake. I was like, the beer? Or the shake because they had this. Uh, they made this classic beer for the event. What is, does the beer have a punny name? Uh, I can't remember. I even have the fun employee badge. Uh, oh, yeah. I forget what was the name of. But it I was, do like fun employee <laughs> too. That's funny to me. So I was like, man. But uh, that that's just like that experience coming to life, and I'm like, man. You guys have to be like just. I mean, if it actually becomes like a staple or anything, that would just be. You, you want to see movies spread far yes, I do. Across, I do. wide across the land. Chains. And then you guys are like just... We'll just pop up sometimes, like work in the behind the counter. And the place will go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I, yeah, that would be fun. I would do it. All right. So, so, you had a shake there at the Pasadena? No, I just always found the name of the milkshake to be really funny oh. in a kind of like lazy way. <laughs> it always made me laugh. And did the onion rings have a certain name? I had the onion rings, but I don't know if they had a certain name. I can't. I can't remember. Yeah, I think they did though, because I think I, it's just that, that line of dialogue that Kevin Wiseman has in that scene where he's. I remember the way. Maybe it's the way he says "milkshake" makes me laugh. 
Because he's like looking up at the menu, he's like a milk shake. I don't know. He's a funny dude, that guy. Anything coming up with that you can't announce or anything? In in terms of not an actor anymore, so I don't right. know. Right. No uh, like projects or anything. Just well, I'm eight months pregnant, <laughs> and it's twins. <laughs> Gotta try the gooey butter cakes and cookies. Okay, I will. That's a St. Louis staple. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> gooey butter cookies. So, yeah. Uh, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you too. It was awesome. Thanks awesome. for your time. Yeah.